Hello everyone, this is another tutorial. The introduction is going to be quite short. Today we'll try to recreate the look of a particular film you probably know. The film is called Sin City. You know, this black and white look with a particular color that is present in a shot. So, we're going to use DaVinci Resolve for this. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and continue there. I've got a whole video done in this style. You can have a look if you want, link will be in the description. Without further ado, we are going to select our clip and click on the color page. I've already done the color grading for this video, which is kind of pointless if you are after a Sin City look, but that look comes gradually in my video, so the color grading should be done beforehand. We are going to go through notes quickly, a link to a detailed tutorial, again, you can find in the description. The first note is our noise reduction, which is available only in the studio version of Resolve. If you are interested in how to use it, let me know. The second one is our exposure, in this note we just lift, gamma and gain. Next is our saturation, then skin tones, then a couple of notes that were made as a redundancy if I need to separate some parts of the image. Next, look adjustment is used to add a little bit of blue, vignetting an outside note to emphasize our subject, then global, which was used to clean shadows, glow effect with soft light and sharpening note. Now we can start our Sin City color grading. First we need to add another note and another one, which is going to be a layered note. To create a note, select the last note and press Alt S. Then press Alt L to add a layered note to the note that was just created. Now we are going to select a picker. Is it called a picker? Yeah, it is. Then we need to pick the color of our choice. Wait. I accidentally selected a layer mixer. What we need to select is this lower note. By the way, layer notes work in such a way that the note which is lower is on the top of the note that is higher. Yep, very convenient. Thanks, Blackmagic. Now we are going to select the color with our picker. By pressing Shift-H we enable highlight this little button in order to see the result of our selection. We need to select our color and drag the picker across. Now we need to refine our selection by adding a little bit of denoiser, cleaning black and cleaning white. But there is a problem. This little patch of red. In order to see it better, I'm going to work on the top note. This note is quite simple. All we need to do is to reduce our saturation to zero. Now we see this patch of red much better and are able to work on it by going to the previous note and adjusting our clean white slider. Now this is much better. Now, let's select color mixer and add another note. This note is going to be used for creating contrast using curves. Shadows down, highlights up. The main look is ready, now we are going to animate our transition from a normal picture to our Sin City one. Select timeline and this little symbol to show our keyframes. Determine the point at which your transition is going to start. Then right click and select add dynamic keyframe. Side note, static keyframes are used for sudden cut-like changes. Dynamics are used for gradual changes over time. Now everything is keyframed, and you do not need to bother searching for the right parameter. Select your last note and click this icon. Drag your key point output gain to zero. Repeat the same procedure for the remaining two notes. Now move to the end of your animation. 
then right click again and select add dynamic keyframes. You see that not all positions are being keyframed. This is because you need to click in this area to select all of them. Now return all of the gains to one again for all three nodes. And this is it. Our job is done. Thank you for watching.